please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit on that tiny little bell icon because then every time I upload a new video, you will be notified of that. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing great and um, I'm back with another review and today I will be reviewing the Body Shop Japanese Matcha Tea Pollution Clearing Mask. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the review. But let's first talk about the packaging and like any like other face masks, this also comes in a glass top um, which is really convenient and functional because you don't waste any of the product even you know the last bit of the product is very nicely used because you can just scoop it inside um, you know in the bottle and in the glass jar and you can empty like you know you can literally finish off even the tiniest bit of the product which is really great so let's talk about the consistency now this has a very creamy consistency um, but it's not that sticky um, unlike the Himalayan charcoal face mask this one has um, a very creamy or a very hydrating consistency it is textured definitely it has got matcha tea particles in it but then uh, for exfoliation but then they're not too harsh it has a very earthy or a very wheatgrass sort of a smell to it. Shop claims that this face mask liberates skin from all the impurities and city pollutants that are built up, um, you know, on our face on a weekly basis. So it just sort of removes all of those, um, you know, gunk from the face and it helps in revealing or giving a very vibrant and a very younger looking skin. So I'm going to go and apply this face mask on my face and then we're going to check out the results. So stay tuned. So after cleansing my face, I'm going to apply the pollution clearing Japanese matcha tea mask and um, I will do it with the help of a brush. Now you can even apply with your fingers. I mean for me brush is way easier and I'm going to leave it on my face for about 10 minutes or 12 minutes uh, to be exact. Um, I, to, I'll just make sure it's 80% dry and then I'm going to take a little bit of water and exfoliate now this makes sure that all the dead cells are um, you know completely removed and i'll try to focus on my t-zone here and then i'm going to wash my face with some cold water and pat it dry and after that i'm going to follow it up with a serum now you can apply anything usually after a face mask you're supposed to apply a facial oil moisturizer serum whatever Alright, so let's begin with our conclusion. Okay, the first thing that I felt after applying this face mask is that I felt a tingling sensation on my face which was not too harsh but it was kind of pleasant and that's when I felt actually the ingredients in the face mask are actually working on my face. After removing the face mask, I felt that my face is literally breathing like um, I could feel so fresh and so good. Um, it just felt as if I have given my face a deep clean, okay? Also, what I really felt after removing the face mask is that um, I did not feel the need to actually moisturize my face because it just took away all the impurities and all the dead cells and all the gunk. But then it did not make my face so dry like as if, if I would laugh, I, I mean I would get cracks on my face, something of that sort. It was like clean and nice um, that's like i did not feel the urge to actually reach out to my uh, moisturizer and you know pat it all over my face so it isn't so drying on the face wearing this face mask to the himalayan charcoal face mask now himalayan charcoal is my all-time favorite i literally was in love with that face mask uh, i need to get another tub of that um, i've used it a lot and it is a very good face mask for oily combination skin but then if you've got um, dry skin or even normal skin I don't think it'll work that well because it just makes your face really dry I like that because I've got oily skin right this mask is working well for me at this time because um, my t-zone is oily at the moment and I've got drier um, you know the other areas of my face are really dry so I would recommend this to anyone who's got dry, normal or even combination skin like dry, oily combination if your cheeks are dry and or normal and your T-zone is a bit oily. 
So this face mask is vegan. It's 100% cruelty free. So that's all I had for the Body Shop Pollution Clearing Mask um, review. I hope you all found this review helpful and if you did then do give this video a huge thumbs up. So if you want me to do more of such honest and genuine reviews do let me know in the comment section below and let me know what product would you like me to review next and I will be glad to do that. So I will catch you guys up in my next video. Until then we can meet up on Insta Stories, Snapchat, Instagram. I'm everywhere. So have a great day and bye bye. Hi, 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 hi. 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 Bye. Bye. My all time favorite now, Gibran. Over a global the body shop, Japanese matcha tea. Uh,